guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an empties video. I haven't done an empty in like three months, maybe more. So I have accumulated a lot of stuff, makeup, skincare and etc. I'm always starting out with my makeup empties. So I have this bag and this time around it's full. The first thing I'm going to talk about is these two sponges that is like a beauty blender knockoff. This is an M Cosmetics one and this is a W7 sponge. These aren't good. <laughs> Let me just say it like that. This is not very good. This was um, not this bright pink, but like a baby pink when I got it. And I got it in the beginning of December and it lasted me until like the next empty. So like mid-March or something, which is not very long for a beauty blender. No go. But I didn't like this. It never got really soft and fluffy, you know, like the Real Techniques one, which I love. It's nothing like that. And then I have my W7 one. This was really, really hard as well. It never got really soft and fluffy. So this t was tearing apart really, really quickly as well. But I tried to keep it going, but it could never be clean. It has these black dots now. So. This is disgusting. So now I'm using my Real Techniques one and I'm so happy because I love that sponge. So never again am I going to buy a Beauty Blender knockoff. Never. I have three mascaras to talk about and the reason I have three for three months is because I had these two open at the same time and these two open at the same time. I just tossed this one in today because it goes too clumpy that it couldn't separate my lashes anymore, which is making me so sad because this is my favorite mascara of all time. So let's just start with this one. <laughs> this is the Maybelline Last Sensational uh, Volume Mascara. This is amazing if you haven't tried it already and it's fairly uh, inexpensive for drugstore mascara. It has the same kind of brush like the Benefit Roller Lash if you have seen that but this is like a cheaper version and I really really like this. This separates my lashes, give it volume and length and everything. This is two W7 mascaras. W7 Lashes Gel Lore Gel Volume Mascara. I only like this for my bottom lashes and when I was going to wear false lashes because it just coated my lashes which which I don't like for my top lashes obviously but it has this kind of brush where it is white but when you turn it aside it is like skinny so it was really really nice for my bottom lashes this is the W7 Last Tastic Falls liquid lashes I really really love this one this is amazing i'm using the mini size at the moment this is like the same type of brush like the maybelline the rugged mascara if you know that one it is a big mascara one but i really really like this mascara it gives me everything i can ask for and i really really enjoy this one i have a primer it is the one from nyx it is the angel veil primer this is okay um it's not my favorite but it's not amazing at the same time so it's, it's like an okay primer, but it went too fast for me to uh, buy it again because it is fairly expensive for NYX actually and I don't think it is kind of worth the hype because this was really really hype uh, at some point. And then I have my W7 Very Vegan HD Foundation. I have finished this like in the beginning of March because it's a long time since I used this foundation but I really really like it. It is one of my favorite foundation from W7. It's like a satin uh, foundation which is really really nice and it lays really really nice on the skin. It has a medium coverage and it is amazing. I really really like this and it's amazing because it's vegan. W7 is cruelty free if you don't know but uh, this is a vegan line and I'm in love. One. This is the e.l.f. eyebrow kit in light. I just finished this recently but I'm very excited about it because I was getting tired of this at the end because these takes forever to go through because it's a powder for your eyebrows and your eyebrows aren't that big but I really really like this one. I don't think I will buy it again because maybe I can just use an eyeshadow because this is just 
just a little bit stupid, if you know what I mean. And this is my second one I have gone through. I have gone through one more, which is the medium shade. I really like the light one better if you are darker because it's more natural. I have finished off my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It's an eyeshadow primer. It does its job. It's okay. It doesn't have a coverage for your eyelids if you have veins and stuff, but it's really, really nice. It does its job. This is a smaller size, so it has a different packaging with this wand and stuff, but yeah. I have found a cheaper version, so I'm not going to buy this again, even though I really, really liked it when I had it. It's kind of the same thing with this Erase Paste from Benefit. I have had this for so long. This took forever. You don't need a lot, but it was amazing. I don't miss it because I have a kind of a dupe in a concealer palette from W7, but this was really, really great. I don't think you can buy this exact Erase Paste from Benefit because I think they have repackaged the products for the Boeing ruler pencil line, you know. So I think this is called something else now, but this was really, really great. I finished off a concealer from Maybelline. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I have finished off a few of those uh, in the past and I really, really like it. It is one of my favorite drugstore concealers. It does its job. It's not full coverage, but it's like a medium one. You can build it up without it looking cakey and it has a really great shade range, I think. A, a kind of weird one because the 15 is lighter than the 10 which is weird but it is a really really great concealer for the money then i have this one <laughs> this is a packaging for the wind wild mega glow contouring palette uh, and i finished off the highlighting shot side I finished off the highlighting side and i love this for setting my concealer it highlighted under my eyes obviously but it set uh, my concealer really nicely I have already talked for like 12 minutes and I'm not even done with the makeup part so this is going to be a long one. So grab a snack, now you're here. <laughs> it is great for setting your concealer because sometimes it can be very dry under your eyes but this doesn't and it's amazing and I really really hoped uh, it would be sold individual because the other side that is blank here is the brown side that I have deep potted into my C pad. So, I have three uh, lip products here um, I need to talk about before I I'm getting into my nail polishes. So I have a lipstick here. It is the Max Factor lipstick in Stardust Pink. It is really gone, but I really, really love this shade right here. It's a very pinky nude. Uh, Mauve shade. It's a bit too pink for me, so I don't really miss it, but at the same time I do because this is one of my favorite uh, bullet lipstick formulas. So and then I have two lip liners here. One of them is a W7 Lip Twister in pink. I love those. I have talked so much about them. They are creamy, they last, they are amazing. They are twist products and they are so inexpensive. They are just amazing. And then I have an eBay lip liner in like a nude color that tricked me and it is completely gone because this is like the pencil wax thingy right in here. I think it is like the double the size when I get them. So yeah, that's a rip-off I think, but they're dry and I cannot recommend buying any lip liners of eBay. So then I have three nail polishes that I have finished in the last three months. And the first one I want to talk about is this one. It is a um, nail polish from Lancome. It is this very, very, very baby pink shade. It is almost white, but not really. I finished this very, very fast when I began to focus on it because you need like three or four coats for it to be opaque. So it went by really fast, but it chipped the same day you applied it or the day after. So. Not worth the money. <laughs> then I finished off a glitter nail polish. It is from Depend. It is this pretty silver glitter, I think. I think I know. Um, so I really loved this one and I will definitely buy it again if I can find it. And then I finished off the other day a Technic uh, nail polish in this gunmetal grey shiny shade that I have um, in my project polish, like the other two here. Um, but I really really enjoyed this one and I miss it a lot, but it is summer and now I have my summer nail polish on But I really really love this shade. It does last on me, but not enough But nothing lasts on me. So I'm not mad, but this was really really nicely. So that's 
stay in the nail polish zone. So I have a nail uh, nail polish remover. Wow! <laughs> it is from the same brand as the glitter nail polish. It is from Depend. So this was uh, nice, but I don't like the smell. It smelled awful compared to the one I used to buy, but. I think my boyfriend actually bought this for me because I couldn't leave the house and then he just bought this for me. It, it was nice to try something else than I was used to but I would not buy that again because it was more expensive and it smelled funny. And then I finished off some cut rounds. It is like a true pack so you will see so much more of those in the future. So I'm going to declutter these sunscreens. These are too old now. Uh, I started using them last year, so they are definitely expired now. I'm almost done with them, so I don't really mind. And they were very inexpensive. And I bought these in Germany, so I don't really know the, the brand that much. Then I have two dry shampoos. This one is the Isana dry shampoo for brown hair. This is a Rossmann brand from Germany. If you don't know Rossmann, it is amazing. You need to check it out when you are visiting Germany. It's like a giant drugstore with everything in it. It is amazing. So this was okay, but it doesn't beat my Batiste dry shampoo. Nothing does. I have not found anything that was better than this. This is like the beautiful brunette version and um, when I darken my hair again, dye my hair again, I think I will get the really dark one, you know. Um, but yeah, I really really love these and I will definitely buy this again. Speaking of my hair, I have a dye hair dye right here. It is the Polypalette Intensive Cream Coloration Hair Dye in Choco Brown. I love these, they are, in, they are inexpensive, so when I visit Germany, I always buy a few of these. Cleansing stuff, I have my L'Oreal Supreme Glow Sensational Cleansing Oil. I love this stuff, this is amazing. Yeah, it's a non-greasy cleansing oil, which is very nice when you have oily skin. So I really, really enjoyed this one, so I will try to see if I can find it again, or just a dupe. And then I have my favorite cleansing wipes, it is the Nivea Cream Care Facial Cleansing Wipes. These are amazing, these are not rough, they are so soft and so good for sensitive skin, because we, I really have sensitive skin. It, a product is just too rough on my skin. I break out and these are amazing a little bit expensive for what they are but I really really love these I have a lip scrub oh I think that was supposed to be in the makeup section but it is the W7 lips lip crush lip exfoliator this reminds me of the elf one um, but this oh, this is weird <laughs> I always bring my lip scrubs into the shower because it's just so much easier. You can be messy and you can just rinse it off and it won't be all over your sink and everything. So it's just so much easier to do in the shower. But I didn't like this because it wasn't exfoliating enough for me. I'm using some other ones from W7 that are so bad. <laughs> there are no exfoliating in those. I don't know why they are even lip scrubs. <laughs> they taste amazing though. Oh, smell amazing. This is better than the ones I'm using now, but it smells. It smells so bad. I hate that smell. So it was kind of a pain to use in the shower. Wow, that smells so bad. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> I have a, sh a shampoo and conditioner right here. It is the L'Oreal Elvital Extraordinary Clay Beautifying Conditioner and Shampoo. I heard that this was very very good if you have oily roots but dry ends, dry hair. And that is kind of what I have now, uh, or had at least. But they, these are in, these are with three different clays um, and they were supposed to refresh your hair and uh, easy detangling without weighing it down for... Sorry. <laughs> and flowing hair full of life, I guess. But yeah, I didn't think they did anything to me. My hair dried out and now I'm using the ones I love and my hair has, my hair is so much better than when I used these ones. So I'm never ever 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 going back to L'Oreal. My hair hates it, really hates it. This is a hair mask or like a, yeah, it's a hair mask. 
it's in Czech, so I can't read it. But it is a Garnier Fructi Fructis Densifier hair mask. I really, really like this one. Um, I usually buy the Garnier uh, Fructis or just the Garnier hair mask uh, hair treatment. They works really, really nice for me. I have a shower gel from Yves Rosé. It is the Cranberry and Almond shower gel. It is a Christmas edition. I really, really like this stuff. This is amazing. It smells amazing. It's just a shower gel, but it smells amazing and looks look, look serious. <laughs> the I Love Mango and Papaya body lotion. This was amazing. It smells amazing. Works amazing. It has a pump a plus. It's a perfect size for me because I don't get through body lotion very fast, but this was amazing. I will definitely buy this again when I don't have that many body lotion I need to go through. But this was really, really nice. And as I remember, they are not that expensive, so that's really, really nice. And I loved, I would love to explore more of the scents because they have so many different scents. This is a very exciting empty for me. This is my soft tanning lotion. No. Soft tanning tinted lotion from Vita Liberata, and I hate uh, soft tanning, so I'm very, very happy that one is gone. And this did last me a few times, but oh, I'm so excited that it's gone. So I will just briefly mention my things, otherwise, we're going to be here forever. And my L'Oreal Pure Clay Detox Mask. I realize now I don't like when it dries down because. I think that is too much for my skin because I have very oily but sensitive skin. So I think this was a little bit too harsh for me. And I don't like it was in a pot. I really like the squeezy tube ones. I don't know if it clogged my pores or it did uh, cleanse it. Cleanse them. I don't know. I think I will uh, just use another clay mask that is in a tube or something because I don't like the jar thing. Oh yeah, and then I'm decluttering this mask. It is a scrub mask from Matas. It is a Danish, uh, a Danish store brand. It is with uh, vitamin B3 and chamomile. I did like this and I have another version from another brand right now that I like more because those exfoliating beads or something, they are smaller than this was. So this uh, is quite messy. I have a face cream right here. I was so excited to finish this because I have worked on this for like a year before I finished it. It is the Olas Beauty Fluid Day Normal Dry Combo Skin. I really really enjoyed this. This was so nice. It sunk into my skin very nicely and very fast. It was a very thin lotion so it did, you didn't need much but it was so good and I'm very excited to be start be working on something else but I do miss it because it was really really good. I didn't like this shape though. It was really hard to get the last bit out because uh, when you screw off the top it's like this one so I didn't really like that one. Uh, the packaging but I love the product. I have a toothpaste. Oh this is old. <laughs> this is the only brand of toothpaste I can use because of some something in my mouth. I don't know what they are called in English, but I will insert the word on the screen so you know. This was not my favorite from that brand. It is a brand I buy in Germany and Czech. I don't know if you can get it other places, but in Denmark you can't get it. It is a very, very affordable brand, but this is the only kind of toothpaste I can... Uh, that I'm not allergic to, if you know what I mean. So, and then I have uh, two packs of uh, wipes that we use in the bathroom to um, wipe off the counter and stuff like that because it gets dirty real fast. So I love these um, small wipes. It comes in a four pack, so you will see two more of those. And then I have my beauty soap bar from CN. It's a German brand, I believe. Um, and this one is with milk and honey. I use these bars for cleansing my brushes. Um, if you want to see how I do that, I will make a video on it. Um, so yeah, this is my last empty for this time around. My shit. <laughs> Wow. My basket is now empty. I hope this video wasn't too long and if you have any questions on, on any of the products I have mentioned, I will gladly um, talk about them in the comments below and yeah, and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any future videos and yeah, then I just hope you will take care until my next video. Bye!